welcome to week four of Joy to the World. This week we're gonna be finishing out our series, which makes me really sad, but today we get to talk about something so beautiful, about how Jesus came to the world so that we would know God. Isn't that so exciting? We talk about love and joy and peace, but do you know that God is all of those things? We get to hear about how we can make, have, have a relationship with God because he sent his son Jesus to bridge that gap. Isn't that so cool? Well, I, I don't want to get into it more because we have a special story for you guys today. So first, let's pray and then we'll go into our video. Everyone, close your eyes. God, we love you and we thank you. God, we love you so much. Thank you so much for sending your son Jesus to come to this earth so that we may get to know you more. May we know your love, your peace, and your joy each and every day as we learn the stories of your truth. God, we love you and we thank you in your name. Amen. Let's go. from a play I was in once. I put them on because they reminded me of last week's Bible story and made me feel full of peace. Bah! We got another message from a friend who lives in a totally different place in the world called Japan. Can you say that with me? Japan! Japan! Let's check it out! Merry Christmas, Callie! What do you like to eat on Christmas Eve? My family likes to eat fried chicken. A lot of people here in Japan like it too. It's the yummiest. Okay, bye-bye. Isn't that a cool tradition? My family eats ham usually, but I love fried chicken. So I got a bucket of fried chicken so that I could celebrate Christmas just like Elijah and his family. Friends, Elijah lives in a place that is on the complete other side of the world and he also knows about Jesus and celebrates Christmas. Isn't that amazing? I'm gonna chew in some fried chicken while we check out today's Bible story. It's time for today's Bible story. Our story begins with Jesus' mom and dad on a journey again. Jesus wasn't a baby anymore, though. He was 12 years old and walking beside Mary and Joseph, Jesus' dad. They were going to a festival, which is like a big party. The party was in a town called Jerusalem. When the festival was over, they headed home. But Jesus' parents couldn't find Jesus anywhere. They looked everywhere with no luck. So they began to go back to Jerusalem. And there Jesus was. They found him in a place where all the very smart people were. These were people that knew the most about God. This place was called the temple. Even though Jesus was just a boy, he understood just as much as they all did. People were amazed at him. Jesus' parents asked why he had to let them worry. Jesus told them that he had to be in his father's house. They didn't really understand. What father was Jesus talking about? True, Jesus was the son of Mary and Joseph, but he was also the son of God. He wanted to know more about God so he could start telling others about God too. He had to be at the temple because Jesus came so that the world could know God. Friends, have your parents ever given you a job to do? Like pick up toys or books? Jesus was just a kid, but he had a big job. He came so that others might know God. The really cool thing is, that even though we're kids too, we have that same job. We can help others know God by sharing joy, peace, and love with others. 
It's a good thing I cleared out some space in my tummy because I want to invite you all to something very special. Come on. Every year, our family has a huge Christmas Eve dinner, and we invite everyone from our neighborhood. My mother also says prayer before we eat. She says thank you to Jesus, who came so that we can know God. Jesus came so that others might know God. What is one way that you can help others know God this Christmas? Merry Christmas, friends. It has been fun learning and growing with you. Man, isn't that an incredible story, but also a little scary if you're a kid of Mary and Joseph leaving Jesus in the temple for over three days. The incredible thing that I love that we heard about is how when Mary asked Jesus, Jesus, why were you here? He said, I must be about my father's business. You know, just like our big idea said, is that Jesus came so the world could know who God was. Jesus was an incredible piece that bridged the gap between me and you having a relationship with God. And what an incredible way to end our series of joy to the world that we are reminded, especially during a crazy season, that we're reminded just why Jesus came. You know, it's great to celebrate all the different things, but it's also even greater to remind ourselves why Jesus came. And today we exactly learned that because he wanted everyone to know who God was. No matter how old he was, no matter how wise he was, he wanted everyone to know just how amazing God is. And he did that for you as well. Well, hey, sadly, this is the end of our series. And I'm bummed because I enjoyed this. But don't worry, we got a brand new one coming next, and I don't want you to miss it. So have a great week and have a great month, and we'll see you next time. Bye-bye.